Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Rotor Talk Live, Season 4, Episode 48, DJI Mavic 3 so far, DJI Holiday Sale, Best Mini Drone. How is everyone doing this evening? want to start off, and I want to make sure that I make sure that, to mention this, want to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving, safe travels, um, and still remember, you know, that little thing called COVID-19 still kind of hanging around, so um, but just wish safe travels for everybody, uh, an enjoyable holiday for everybody. Uh, just, you know, look, look, you know, enjoy yourselves. Don't eat too much. Okay. I'm definitely not going to eat too much. Okay. <laughs> That's the name of the game. G boy 185 is here. Leonard, Leonard Oglesby, uh, Steve Mack, drone shots, uh, Matt Bagwell, fly guy, fly guy, Merrill, uh, John Olson. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Steve Mack so far have checked in on uh, Maddie's drone. We're welcome, Maddie. Hey, Ray Kelly. Ray Kelly is here. The captain is here. We can start now. Okay. Um, actually got a lot to talk about tonight. Uh, you know, it, it's like, you know, everybody's in the Mavic three, Mavic three, Mavic three. Well, you know, there is more than the Mavic three. Um, but I think one of the first things that I actually want to talk about tonight is remember I had mentioned to everybody that I was I had an issue charging my batteries the first time, okay? Like it took 10 hours for one, 10 and a half hours for the other one. Well, I've solved the problem here, okay? You know, Bill of Jones viewer will admit when he made a mistake. He made a mistake here, and I'm going to show you what I did, all right? We're going to do a little bit of show and tell, okay? Now, here's the adapter, okay? And this cord is... Uh, it, it's it's built in. Okay, you can't take this out. All right. Now this is the USB C cord. All right, and there's a slot for it here. Okay. Now where does this one go? Okay, this USB C cord, guys. Okay, this one. Okay, this one goes to the controller. Okay, and the cord that is built in to this here it is right here guess where this goes guys goes into the back of the mavic 3 now i actually don't have it plugged in so you can see it's in there okay because after my flight this weekend i charge it back and charge normally okay like it should so the problem has been solved it was operator error okay and i think i think that's a good thing that if you know if if you've made a mistake with something own up to it all right so you know i've made a mistake i did this wrong okay so i'm gonna ping dji and let them know that and i think they want to probably should put a notification on there to make sure and, and the easy way to remember this is you know for me for now what i'm gonna do is just ha just charge the batteries up at first, okay? Until I get until I get a, another charging solution, which I know Rick said they're working on right now, okay? And I know you know he's working with several vendors and his charging solutions are great. And keep a watch out for Rick, okay? Rick's Rick's site because he he'll sell those, okay? But just to charge the battery up first and then charge the controller up second, okay? That's 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 my easy way and that's my easy suggestion right now or maybe take your USB C cord that you get that you use to charge it up and take another adapter like an anchor adapter or whatever and charge up your controller that way okay and we know that you know you don't need to charge the controllers obviously as often as the battery so but just wanted to get this out here so everybody knew that <laughs> Barry Markowitz well welcome back to Hawaii my friend um Plan my flights around drone nation and build a drone review. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're glad we're glad you're with us, Barry, and glad you're back. Glad you're back home, safe and sound. That's always always a good thing. All right. Got that out of the way. All right. Now, you know, one of the other things that I found out is DJ is you know, not only, you know, it's their holiday sale. You know, obviously Black Friday's coming up and on this channel, we kind of like to focus on drones, obviously, all right? Well, DJI is having an incredible holiday sale plus a couple of incredible giveaways. 
Now, I'm going to share the article from Drone DJ, and then we're going to go actually go out to the website so I can show that to you guys. This is some pretty incredible stuff. I mean, it kind of blew me away here. All right, let's go ahead and get that up here. Share this article. Okay. DJI's 2021 holiday deals include exclusive free gifts, weekly giveaways, okay? And we're going to go out to the DJI website here in a second. But I know I don't think a lot of you guys know this unless you're on DJI's mailing list and you may have glossed over this. This is not one to gloss over. And these entries to these giveaways are free, okay? There's no, you don't have to buy anything. But let's kind of go over what's, what's going to be going, going on here. Um, they've set up a special holiday page. Now, they're running a weekly giveaway contest that touts the new Mavic 3 Cine Premium Combo as the mega prize. And we'll get to that in a minute here. Uh, best part is you don't have to make a purchase to enter the giveaway. You just agree to the terms of the contest, subscribe to DJI Newsletter, share your story and holiday wish on Facebook or Twitter with the hashtag, hashtag DJI Holidays, okay? Um, obviously, I know Ron and Mark has covered the DJI FPV drone combo right now is at $9.99. Uh, plus, they're giving away some free stuff with that. So you want to definitely want to check that out, okay? Um, now, DJI is making a gift box. This limited edition holiday gift box includes the Pocket 2 exclusive combo, Sunset White. It features tiny and powerful handheld camera, 128 gigabyte uh, SD card, notebook, crossbody bag, pink, mm, yeah, limited edition badge set and a holiday gift card. Companies making only 2,000 of these gift boxes available at the DJI store. The gift box will be available starting November 25th while stock lasts. In the meantime, DJI is also promoting the Mini 2 Beginner's Craft as well as the Air 2S drone with a free DJI badge set and the OM5 camera phone stabilizer with a free DJI crossbody bag. More information, visit the holiday page. And that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now here, okay? Now, you can see what they're doing here and then we'll flip down here they're gonna week one there's gonna be a mini two fly more combo and entry starts on november 25th and december 2nd there's a mavic air 2 fly more combo december 9th they're gonna give away pocket two creator combo and a om5 in athens gray december 16th an air 2 west fly more combo And you can see the big Mac Daddy here, DJI Mavic 3 Center Premium Combo, valued at $4,999, one winner, okay? Now, they have a grand prize, okay? Now, what this is is, and to explain it to you guys, uh, entry starts December 25th, ominous day, okay? What this is, 10 lucky people are going to win the very first product that DJI comes out with in the year, 2022. That's right. If they come out with an Inspire 3, they're going to win an Inspire 3. I don't think they're going to come out. But whatever DJI is going to come out with first, these 10 lucky people are going to win it. Now, you know, one of the things I can say with something like this, guys, is I think it's going to be something significant because they've come out with, with, with you know, obviously the Mavic 3, um, Mike, if I were a betting man, my guess is it's going to be a mini three. That's just me. That's just off the, off the top of my head. Um, but there's other things in the works. You're probably not going to see anything gimbal related, pocket related. You can see, you know, DJI has already done their pocket too. Um, they've already done their action too is already out. So don't expect anything along those lines, but okay. You know, a mini three has been, you know, we've been talking about that for quite some time. That's an excellent possibility what this might be. So stay tuned to all this and make sure you start going out there um, this week on November 25th. All right. Um, you can see uh, week one, there's a coupon um, DJ action to dual screen combo, $10 off coupon enter to win here. Okay. You can now actually enter this contest to win it. Okay. So, Guys, go out to DJI's website and have fun, okay? 
and maybe and if one of you guys wins, let me know. Well, you know, we'll we'll have we'll we'll you know I'll say this: anyone out there, a subscriber of mine who wins one of these gifts, we're going to have you on as a guest. Okay, and obviously, would like for you if you have the if you get the gift to show it to us, but we'll have you on the show. Okay, I'll make that promise right now to you guys. I hope I hope that's. Of course, you want to be on the show. Of course, everybody who doesn't want to be on the show. Okay, it's just like fantastic. Okay, Jay Berdrone is here. Michael Wright is here. Let's see who else. Who else we got in? I know Maddie's in. Akarasho's here. Drone Views Media is here. Uh, okay, I think we got. I think we covered that. Okay, I just want to make sure here. Okay, so that's some exciting stuff from DJI. I mean. That's something I think you guys would really, you know, th that's some good stuff. You you want to, I mean, wow. This is the first time they're, they've done something like this. This is pretty extensive for them. Um, you know, they're giving away a, a couple of Air 2, Air 2S's, uh, Mavic 3 Cine Combo, five grand they're giving that away. Um, you know, that mystery box, so to speak. Um, you know, the first thing DJI, DJI comes out with in 2022, you will get that. This is some good stuff. And they're going to be offering some discounts on some things as well, too. So pay attention to that. Um, you know, you can see the entries are open now to win an, an action, too. So, you know, get started. Enjoy this. Um, anytime I post an article and we talk about it, all right, it's going to be on Build a Drone Reviewer Facebook group and Facebook page. Uh, sometimes I don't get them in the description, but I want to make sure that you guys know about that and have access to that. So it's, it's that you can always find those articles out there. So just wanted to kind of kind of cover that. Um, Zoom, Mavic Three Zoom. Probably saw my la my, my my latest Mavic Three video which I did on the Zoom, and I got to say this, that thing, that Zoom is unbelievable. You know, and, 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 and as everybody commented on my video, you know, one of the things I wanted to comment about was you could tell, even if you knew, you didn't know that the second telephoto lens takes over at 14 and 28 Zoom, all right? That seven Zoom, the detail on that is incredible. I mean, it is absolutely incredible, guys. Uh, it, it really is. I mean, it's crisp. It's clear. You can see things. It's not fuzzy. It's not like it's, you know, a 720p and you pixelated and all that stuff. No, you could see with a 7x zoom. And that's incredible. All right. That, that, that zoom feature on there is absolutely incredible. And it really impressed the daylights out of me. You probably also saw in my video, again, this is build a drone reviewer coming, coming, uh, you know, um, tr truth, truth or consequences tonight because I made another mistake. Yes, I did. I uh, don't, shh, don't tell Valerie. Okay. Valerie hears that I'm in a world of hurt. I don't want, and I don't want to be in a world of hurt because Santa's coming around the corner and I want to make sure Santa drops off a lot of things for build a drone reviewer. Anyway. <laughs> All right. When I did my flight, perfect flight, you know, even in spite of some, I had some pretty decent winds. It was 15, 20 miles an hour. So, you know, it was combating some things and it did really well in the wind. That's another thing from that video. I, I can say that it did really well. I was very impressed with that. I made a rookie mistake. I made a before a rookie mistake. I forgot to hit record. Okay. <laughs> Seriously. How often does that happen? All right. I just, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know about that. All right. That, that, that was just, that was just too funny, but you know, it's a before a rookie type mistake. All right. So one of the, one of the things that um, I did was after I realized that I went out and I took another flight and we went, I went ahead and shot video uh, zooming in on the same, most of the same objects that I did before 
to show you guys on video what it looks like, not just from the FPD view. So I did do that. Now, one word of caution, and and I, and I want to let you guys know that um, with the triple check tablet, all right? It has a built-in screen recorder, all right? One of the things that I found out, okay, it doesn't play nice with Adobe and it doesn't play nice with DaVinci. I don't know what happens, okay? When I tried putting it into Adobe, now I record the sound with it, all right? And it has an option to do that. When I tr put it in Adobe, it takes the sound, it, it knocks that, that MP4 sound file off, all right? It's gone. When I put it into DaVinci, it sounds like a high-pitched screech. But conversely, when I go out to my PC and I play it, I can hear it perfectly. Now, one of the things that I do is on my tablet, I use Dropbox to transfer that file onto my PC. Okay. And I've been doing that for years. Done that with the iPad mini, no problems. Okay. Well, lo and behold, I had done that earlier the ver the first mavic video i mavic 3 video i did i used az screen recorder all right and i'm going to go back to using az screen recorder so a word of warning for those of you that are using the triple tech tablet use az screen recorder okay it doesn't have any ads in it all right which is nice because there are some out there that have ads in it and they're annoying and what's real nice with the AZ screen recorder, it also gives you a little orange dot to let you know that it's active, okay? And anytime you want to open that up, you just hit on that orange dot, dot and it will open it up. And it's it's very compatible with Dropbox, works like a champ, will record your sounds, no problem, okay? So just want to let you guys know that. That's a word of, word of advice regarding the triple tech there. Um, hey, Jeff. Jeff Voigt is in the house, okay? Guys, if, if you haven't checked out Jeff's stuff, okay, w what he does, his, his photographs, he's the other Jedi master of, of sunsets and sunrises. Je Jeff just does an incredible job. And he also has a website. Jeff, um, you know, go out to build a drone reviewer. And Jeff, drop, drop your, a link to your website out there. Because I don't know how many of you know this, but Jeff sells some of his photographs. And some of these are, you know, worthy of hanging on your wall kind of material. All right. You, you definitely want to check that out. So, Jeff, if you could do me that favor, go out to Build a Drone Reviewer, the group and the page, and drop a link to your website where people can check out your work. I'm telling you, you want, you're looking for a great Christmas gift? Look no further than Jeff, Okay. He's he has some stellar stuff and I should probably buy some stuff hanging on my wall because I got some bare walls here in this room. OK, I'm going to get my banner up, but I'm looking for a good photo. And what you know, and Jeff takes all now Jeff lives in, in Annapolis. OK, and a favorite subject of his is the Naval Academy. He went to the Naval Academy. OK, the Navy is near as Jeff knows, the Navy is near and dear to my heart. It's my my dad was a World War II U.S. Navy veteran and. I'm the proud son of a U.S. Uh, Navy World War II veteran. And, you know, if it's Navy, it rocks in, in, in my house, okay? And he's taken some pictures of, of the stadium over there when it's been lit up, obviously not occupied. Um, sunset pictures, sunrise pictures over there, just incredible. Definitely check it out, okay? Yeah, paid promo for Jeff. I, give you, I, I gave you a paid promo here. Unpaid promo, Jeff, okay? <laughs> All right, also have an accessory update. Now, I don't have any banners to put up for this, okay? Um, one of the things that I found out, GPC, their case, I emailed them because I have mine on pre-order with B&H Photo. They said they're at least another three weeks out from delivering the case, which is a real pain in the tush because, you know, I got to kind of kind of hold on of course i don't have far to travel right now where i'm going but some other places i'd like to go to i'd like to have 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 this guy in a case okay 
I really would like that. So, you know, stay tuned to that. And I'll do a full review on that case. I'm looking forward to getting it because I know GPC makes some quality products. Um, I know there are several others out there, but they don't look as substantial. I know um, PGY Tech has one out there. It's about the same. I'm not really digging it. I, I was checking it out. There's not a, it just, I really think GPC does a great job with that. Okay. Um, Nanook, I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything on them lately, but I've already pre ordered one through BH Photo. So I'm going to kind of hang on with that and, and go from there. The other accessory that I ordered was a lipo bag. You know, a lot of people don't think about, you know, th there's some accessories that you think of like right off the bat, like a case, okay? And like probably extra batteries if you're not getting the fly more combo, which I did. You know, one of the other things that you need to think about is a lipo bag. Now they are for sale out on Amazon and I'll drop a link in the description for them. They're Sunny Life, good product. They're made over in China, okay? Uh, I ordered them from Amazon. I paid, um, I got two individual ones and I got a three, uh, three pack of a, a one, a one that has can charge, it can have three batteries in there. Um, I think um, the individual ones were like 10 bucks a piece. And for the three pack, it was like 14 or $15. So um, that's definitely something you guys want to look at because I'll tell you what, when you store your batteries, okay. And what helps me sleep easy at night is I got them in lipo bags. And, you know, I'm getting ready to rock and roll with my build a drone, build the RC reviewer channel. Okay. Where we're going to be looking at, in addition, we're still going to look at drones there, but we're also going to look at RC planes. We're going to look at RC cars as well and RC boats on there. So we're going to handle all that. All right. Build a drone reviewer limited edition is kind of going to meta metamorphosis in the build the RC reviewer, but that's, that's probably going to happen right at, at the beginning of the year next year. Here is Mr. Ron Brown. How are you, sir? I'm doing very well, Bill. How about yourself? I'm doing well for a Tuesday night. You know, it's like it's, it's dropped in town. Winter is in Florida. I, you know, winter has actually come. It didn't get past 66 today. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. And you well, could feel it. You could definitely feel it. It's like yeah. I could I could hear the sound of, of Valerie breaking out her parka. Okay. Feel a little bit like Thanksgiving? Yeah, yeah. It, it's starting to feel a little bit like that. Thank goodness, though, no rain, no snow, you know, that none, of, none, of the, none of the ugly stuff that comes with Thanksgiving. Hey, 66 and, and no precipitation. I'd call that a good day for flying, Bill. Well, yeah, it was. Actually, I kind of lucked out on Sunday because that's when I did my, my Zoom test. But the winds got up to about 20 miles an hour on Monday – I checked the before you fly app because I wanted to get out because it looked like it was a good sunset that night. Mm -hmm. It had do not fly gusts of 25 okay. to 30 miles an hour. So okay. I didn't even, I didn't even think about taking right. it up. Right. On, right. On, right. Yeah, Heard so. you talk about cases before I, I jumped on. Have you got found a nice hard case for your Mavic 3? Yeah. Yet? GPC has a great case, Ron. Um, it's, it's a 120 bucks. I emailed them to find out when, because I pre-ordered it through B&H Photo, and they told me uh, it's at least another three, four weeks out before it actually comes, which, eh, you know, I'd rather have it now sooner rather than later, but, you know, it's not like right now I'm going a great distance when I'm traveling. You know, it's it's like a two-minute drive for me to fly now, so. Yeah, just keep a nice soft case in the back of the car. Hey, yeah. I see our good friend Barry Markowitz, Markowitz is in the chat. He's a big, um, a, a big fan of the Nook cases. He brought a lot of them to give away at Spin Up uh, in 2019. So uh, he highly recommends the Nook, the Nook if you cannot get a, a GPC for GPC, instance. yeah. Well, you know, he got me hooked up. He got me a GPC case for the Mini 2, and I did a review on that. And and I, I, I really love the GPC case. I also love the Nook cases as well. But I haven't seen any Mavic 3 uh, Nook cases out there yet. So I'm kind of hoping that they'll come out there with that. It's just yeah, it's, I haven't seen them yet. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of third party people. You know, it, you know, a good month or so to catch up with all the accessories. So, like you said, to advise people, just hang in there. That the stuff's coming, and when it comes, the market will be flooded with it. You just have to be a little patient. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I wanted to 
before we talk about our main segment, and this isn't the main thing tonight, but the Mavic Three so far, and, and I know you've had it. You've you've got some flights in. I've got some flights in. There's a lot of videos out there. What are your impressions so far, Ron? Well, I think I've got five flights in, including the fifth one today. And, uh, you know, uh, I kind of, you know, uh, for the most part, all good. Now, I mean, every everything has, you know, a little glitch or something. I did have a, one of my flights. I did see a, a, a crooked horizon at the beginning of the flight, but it quickly corrected itself. And I haven't seen it since. I did have a flight where I was flying in sport mode into a wind, you know, to a, you know, a heavier than normal wind. I did see the gimbal push down on me a couple of times. So, I mean, there are a couple, you know, things in there that I, I wouldn't even call, well, the crooked horizon may call it bug. I, I wouldn't call the gimbal, the wind thing a bug because that's been prevalent on uh, kind of all my foldable DJI drones. So um, that may be more of a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, uh, physics thing than it is a, a bug on that. But, uh, uh, Bill, I, I hate, I don't hate to go all fanboy and, People in chat call us fanboys, but I mean, I love it, Bill. I mean, uh, you know, I mean the, you know, of course the camera is is what we're paying for the the four thirds camera. The photos look better, even the JPEGs look better. I played around with a little five point one uh, K video today. I mean that 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 kind of looked awesome, right, you know, right off the memory card. I mean all the things like the single strength is the best I've ever flown. The battery life is the best I've ever flown. I could go on and on and on. Bill, what, what, what's your impressions? How many times have you had it up? I've had it up four, okay? And w- one of the things that really impressed me, and, and it's in my last video, is, is the quality of the zoom, all right? Especially mm-hmm. like at 7X, all right? Before it switches the other, to the other lens. It, how crisp that detail is, it's seven times zoom was was phenomenal i mean you know it's like you could see for instance i did there's a little guard shack for lack of a better term the entrance to our development and you can actually see some of the cracks in the stucco from (laughs) from that okay and i was over a thousand feet away i you know it's the the detail on there it's just it's just so good and then I i don't know if you saw earlier i found my charging charging issue I was using I wasn't using the cable that was attached to the the charger. I you were using that USB cable that came with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The APA, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was my problem. So, once I did that because I charged it up this weekend, just like that and it was done. Had no about an hour and a half, right, Bill? Yeah. yeah. It, and yeah. it was fully charged. Yeah. I had had yeah. no problems. Hey, and you back know, to your back to your Zoom comment. I mean, you said everything that needs to be said, really, except for the fact that you know we've had some Zoom with some of our other drones. Even the Mini Two has Zoom, and and the the uh, Air Two S has Zoom on video, and and the Altel Evo uh, Two Pro has Zoom. But I mean, all those Zooms, you know, you you play around with it. Oh yeah, it's got Zoom. You know that that's nice or whatever. Then you kind of don't use that much. But this is the first drone I've had where the Zoom. I mean, is actually something I would use or whatever. I would compose shots with this. Is the first time the zooms really, I think, become a tool for a drone I've used rather than oh, just I, a gimmick. Or yeah, I agree, Ron. You know, it's finally we've gotten to point, and, and even even the fourteen X. Okay, and, and and I'll go a step further here. Okay, it was still pretty sharp with a detail, which really impressed me because you know when you would try to do that, you know. It gets grainy. It looks like, you know, pixelated and, and things like that. And, you know, the 28, you know, you expect yeah. it with that. But yeah. the 14, it was good. And it worked, okay? It's out of the box, and it worked. I mean, you know. Yeah. I mean, the, the only uh, thing, we had we had uh, Lauren Donner on uh, Drone Nation last night. And, uh, you know, his, his comment was about that um, – the zoom, especially the, the second camera, the small camera zoom, that you limit to only JPEG photos and the videos are limited to just, um, you know, standard color profile. There's no, um, you know, you can't shoot raw photos and you can't shoot, you know, D-Log or anything there. So whether that's going to be updated with the January firmware update, we don't really know. Um, uh, you know, uh, maybe it will, maybe it won't. But uh, that, that's kind of the only con there that you're stuck with a lower kind of image resolution uh, 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 parameters there, you know, as compared with the uh, the four-thirds camera, which, of course... So, have you been flying with your new smart controller on? Uh, first time today. How was it? Uh, well, let me get it out of here. 
um, you know, uh, great. I mean, um, the, the bonding process is simple. I, you know, bond up with, you know, just, you know, the seconds of trying it. Um, you know, it, it, the only bugaboo is it took a long time to update it. I, I, I'm going to say it, that, that this unit itself had a big firmware update, and I, I had to go do something. I mean, it, it took like a half hour to do the first wow. firmware update on it or whatever. And I was on the home Wi-Fi. I wasn't out in the field. I was at home. But uh, otherwise, the screen seems a little a little brighter, and it seems like the colors pop on it. So it doesn't seem like it's it's the same exact screen. The screen seemed better, and I was flying it in the field, and, and it was still it, it wasn't dusk yet. It was still kind of sunny, and uh, so I, I thought the screen looked better than in the first one. Otherwise, you know, it's a little bit different. You know, grips are a little bit better in the back here, but you know, it, it, otherwise, it's basically like using the other one, except that. Um, you know, uh, it's much faster. It must have, you know, obviously it's a better processor and a, a more modern version of Android. So, you know, the all the touch screen, everything like that works good. No, I had no heating issues, even though when I was flying, it was like in the thirties. So uh, uh, heat wasn't a problem today, but uh, yeah. You, and, you know, I, I think Lon, you know, Lon, I had a long conversation chat about, you know, it's just so nice to have a device where you don't have to, um, connect it all up you know you don't have the wires the plugs uh you know uh the uh adapter if you're going to put a tablet on you know you just turn on you go yeah yeah, yeah. i mean yeah. you know it's you, you've given me pause to thought you've given me thought to pause about my triple check with this and, yeah, I, and I, well, I bounced back and forth and you know i, I told them well if i had the triple tech i could fly you know my my all tell drone with it and you know and this and that and uh you know it, it was a tough decision but um i mean you know i don't want to get anybody mad here but i i think i'm mostly going to be pl flying the mavic 3 so i'm not that worried about the the screen for the other drones is point if you know what i mean bill without yeah without insulting any any other drones on this show yeah, and, and I and I don't blame you, and you know, and, and that's why I, it's given me pause of thought because right now the Mavic Three is it for me as far as drones are concerned. So obviously my hundred percent focus is on the Mavic Three. So I'm still kind of toying that around and, and you know tossing that idea around and 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 really giving it some serious thought because um, I had an issue this weekend with the built-in screen recorder on the Triple Tech tablet. Mm -hmm. um, when I did a Dropbox and transferred it to my PC, I play it and I always play it to make sure it plays, you know, both the audio and video and yep. it's fine and everything. Okay. I drop it into Adobe. Adobe drops the sound part of it. Okay. It's Ooh. not even, it's not even attached. When I dropped it into DaVinci, it sounds like a loud screeching sound. Okay. <clears throat> no audio, you know, no voice, no, no other kind of sounds like a loud, completely loud screeching sound. So I have to go to, you know, get an off-brand, you know, screen recorder on Android, AZ screen recorder, which I've used before, right. and it works pretty well. But again, you know, here's the thing. You know, it's built in with the with the smart controller. You don't have to go out there, search for things, whatever, and it works. Okay? I, I, I did not test my first. I did not test it today, Bill, so I, okay. I can't verify. You know, I'm, I mean, the screen recorder on the old smart controller. Um, it was a problem because if you you know if you're trying to say record 4K video and run the screen record at the same time, sometimes you had a problem because you were over taxing the processor in a smart controller one. But uh, hopefully that's not an issue. But I did not get the test. And and another th problem with the smart controller one is um, when you were doing the screen recording, the microphones in the smart controller one did not pick up your audio voice as well as if you were using your phone. I mean, I, I, I'm sure the Samsung phone is the same as Apple. The Apple phone records great audio and the smart controller one recorded you know less of great audio yeah, uh, you had to have it up here like this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You, you, were, you look like you're you know i don't know you're eating your controller yeah yeah, yeah. you know because and, and that's what i found because you know i was trying to use that screen recorder and i'm like man it's like you know and i had to force myself to remember you know to hold it up there if i want to get a good good audio for my screen recording you know, otherwise I have to go in and try to enhance the audio to do it. And I don't like having to do that. So I'm hoping that DJI's put a better mic in that to pick that up better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, uh, uh, Zigzag Ground Zero saying that DJI screen is tiny. Yeah, it's like 
It's like five five point seven or something like that. So it's much smaller than the Altel Evo two uh, smart charging screen, which I think is like about seven point nine eight inch. He said it has no HDMI output jack, and you know I'm no expert in this stuff at all, but it has uh, it has a, a you know a micro a mini H H I can never say this right HDMI jack here. I don't know if that's output input or whatever. I did not look at specs. Up, uh, Bill, I know you can you know plug this into a monitor and play it rail thing. I've never, ever done that on any device. I've got cameras with the same thing, smart control. I, 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 you know, I'm just one of the people I have no need to ever output the, you know, the video from this in, onto a TV or a monitor. So I've, I've never tried it. I could care less whether that thing was on there, but I know it's important to a lot of people out in the community. Right. And, and, and I, and I agree. And, you know, one of the things that I ended up finding out was, you know, I tried it once and it and it, it's okay, but you know it, it's like you're limited by your HDMI cable. In other words, you know you're not outside. You got to be inside when you're doing that, and you got to be hooked up to your TV with your HDMI cable to do something like that. Okay, yeah. I, I guess some people shoot shoot their video like they they keep hitting the stop button, so they have nice little segments of video. And I've done that once in a while, but sometimes I have a tendency to just shoot like you know, 20 minutes of video and not stop thing. So I got a whole bunch of video of me just stopping, pausing, ch- ch- fiddling with the camera settings or whatever. Nobody would want to watch my unedited, you know, HDMI output from one of my flights because mostly, uh, you know, I- I'm, I'm half time. I'm just messing around. You know, I'm, it's not like I'm flying the whole time actually shooting something, you know, because again, I'm usually experimenting around and so on. So lots of times the drone just sits there and hovers for, could hover for three minutes and do nothing, you know, before I do the next action. Yeah. So, you so. know, one of the things I'm hopeful, uh, obviously now I'm having to cross fingers because of weather, but getting out this weekend, there's some other things I want to do. I want to get some, to do some low light stuff. I haven't had an opportunity to do that. Um, want to get, want to get in some endurance, like slash battery tests, like both in smoke in sport and normal mode and see how that goes. Um, you know, I got a lot more th- that I want to put oh, it yeah. through. But so far, so good, Ron. You know, I'm I'm just still I'm, I'm very impressed with the build quality of this and and how you know it just it's just rock solid and that battery just seems to go and go and go. I know a lot of people talk, you know have qualms about the build quality because the the top part here doesn't feel as solid as it does on on the Mavic Two and you know you, you know maybe they're right I me mean, I, I bet you there's a reason I bet you they needed to save weight at some point and that was putting a you know less heavy duty plastic piece on the top to you know to yeah. save the weight uh, um, so and of course you know this camera is much bigger and the gimbal sticks out so. You know, um, you could all you could say all these are build quality things, but again, we're all saying this. I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know if it's it just because it sounds a little less solid doesn't mean it is. You know, and of yeah. course you have to be careful with your gimbal, your camera, and your gimbal. Oh whatever. yeah, yeah. Uh, I, you know, whether this one's any more prone to getting, you know, uh, uh, destroyed in a crash or whatever, I don't know. People talk about the thin arms on it too, but. Uh, you know, I don't know. They they feel solid to me. Uh, yeah, I haven't yeah. noted had any problems with that whatsoever. Oh, one of the other things before we we uh, go to our next segment here um, that I want to mention is, uh, you know, I went ahead and I emailed State Farm Insurance, um, gave them the serial number, the invoice, um, so they have all that information. My new address. I actually hadn't updated my address with them, so I did all that. And as a reminder to all of you out there. Whenever you get a new drone, if you have, you know, a personal lines, personal articles policy with State Farm, you got to call your agent up or email them and get that information to them so they can add that on. And so you can be covered. OK, um, you know, and don't assume that you're covered. You know, even though you've sent that email, wait to get a reply back. All right. Um, before before you, you know, know that you're 100 percent covered. But usually when you send out an email, you usually are covered with stuff like that. But you know, for safety's sake, and, you know, I highly recommend, you know, make sure you get a reply back from them that they got that information. That's important. I see we got Captain Ray in the chat tonight. Uh, Ray received his um, Mavic 3 that he, that he wanted spin up, I think, yesterday. He got to fly for the first time this morning. Actually, he was going live from the park where he was going to fly. I don't know how the flight went, but uh, he was excited. Yeah, I did. I did see that. You know, one of the things that I, I kind of wanted to talk, you know, kind of 
you know, we're want, wrapping up 2021 and heading into 2022. And, and I wanted to spend a few minutes here from these list of drones that I have listed here, the Mini 2, the Xeno Mini Pro, the Femi X8 Mini, and the Evo Nano, okay, the best drone. Now, it's it's literally impossible to, to set to, to really kind of kind of pick this. So what I thought I would do is we're going to go drone by drone here and, and, and look at all of these, talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm going to save the Autel Evo for last here. Now, let's go ahead. You know, I'm going to go ahead with, um, let's see here. Okay. No, it's the Mini 2. Oh, me too. Um, now, you know, it's it's incredible for the feature set that it has on here, Ron. Okay. Um, you know, the wind resistance has finally been upgraded on it. It has a great flight time. It is 4K video. It's rock solid. It's stable. You know, it does what exactly what it's supposed to do. I was saying, to, I think I was saying to Mark yesterday, it feels odd this time of year not having a new mini, new DJI yeah. mini. It feel even, I mean, we got the Mavic 3, so we're busy, but it kind of feels odd that I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not, you know, messing around with a new version of mini. Now, you know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll interrupt this. DJI came out with their holiday announcement. They're having a giveaway, okay? Uh, they're having multiple giveaways this year. And what they're going to do, the, the grand giveaway is 10 people are going to win what they call a future box. And it's going to be the first product that DJI comes out with in 2022. They will get it. Oh. That will be, that'll be their gift. You know, and, and I just, you know, when I was going over that segment, I was saying, you know, it really could be something like a mini three. Okay. That, that is probably something that could be on the horizon because the action two is out. The pocket two is out. The new gimbal is out. Um, you know, they came out with, a, you know, the, the big big rig uh, camera system. That's yeah. out. You know, there's not a lot in terms of what they can put out except for probably another drone. And my guess would be a Mini 3. Or a, Rob or a RoboMaster 2. Or a RoboMaster 2. Uh, that's, that's entirely. Yeah. That. yeah. And I think during, in, in that promotion uh, that you talk about, don't they have a, a special... Um, Pocket Two Edition that they're um, selling at, at at a price where you get extras with it. Yes, and there's extra. There's only two thousand of them. They're selling them for four hundred and thirty eight dollars, and it comes with some extras with it. Um, so, and every time you buy something, you're also entered into this contest as well. So, oh, and, you know, oh. and it's I mean, what they're giving away a Mini Two, they're giving away two Air Two S's. Um, they're also giving away a Mavic 3 Cine edition oh. with, with a smart controller. Wow. And then they're giving away that that um, those 10 future boxes as well. So, I mean, that's a that's a pretty, pretty good gift set. And one of the future boxes all, you said about the Mini 3, what about the FPV drone too? Yeah, the FPV drone. They're, they're clearing inventory of the, of the FPV drone one at Amazon and Best Buy. Yeah, I know. That's a pretty hefty cut. The, the thing, price cut for were, that. Were you were you tempted when you saw that nine 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 price bill? No, because and I and I watched enough of your show last night. I'm a hundred percent like Marcus. When I fly, ninety percent of the time I'm by myself. Okay, and the the other part of it for me is you know my spatial orientation. It's not I'm not twenty years old anymore. All right, and my spatial orientation it, it would it would be a disaster for me to fly one of those. It just it's not, it's not, it's not my cup of tea. Agreed. It, it really isn't here. Um, you know, now we're going to take a look at the Xeno Mini Pro. And, you know, it's real interesting, Ron, because world's first drone with obstacle avoidance under 250 grams, right? Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a love hate affair with this drone. Um, you know, people love to hate it, you know, as, as they say. And our good friend Marcus has spent, has done yeoman's duty with this. And, and we know, you know, our good friend, Greg Pittman has had his share of woes with oh, yeah. Dr. Zeno mini. Pro. And, and Gorilla man has been through, been through it with the, this drone and, and fight with ups and customer assistance. And Bill, are you, you, did you freeze? No. Oh, 
Did I freeze? Folks, I don't know if Bill's fro uh, frozen or not. Um, we hope we get him back here in a second. I hope hope you can still hear me. Um, kind of going over all the mini drones right now. And the, um, you know, Bill went through the, the Hubson uh, uh, Xeno Mini Pro, which came out this summer, much delayed after it being announced in May. It didn't really make it out to most people until about August. And, uh, you know, right out of the box, it, it had a lot of issues, but they seem to be fixing them Sharing. with the firmware update now. Oh, you're back, Bill. Okay. I stopped sharing, and that seemed to that, that seemed to close Okay, that leaves it. Okay. Okay. So, so I just kind of finished up on the, on, the, uh, on the Xeno Mini Pro. Bill? It looks like Bill's had more freezing issues here. So, um, so yeah, so far, um, if uh, if you're looking for a mini drone, I'd probably still go with the uh, DJI Mini 2 over the um, the Hubsub Mini Pro. Even the Mini Pro has, uh, you know, some uh, obstacle avoidance and, uh, you know, some more uh, uh, tricks up its sleeve. I still like the DJI Mini 2 better. Bill, you're back. Yeah, I'm back now. Okay. okay. All right. Well, you know, the, the next one on the list is the Femi X8 Mini. And, you know, it's like the little drone that could. And this was simply a case to me, Ron, of uh, Femi just did everything they could to get this drone out the door. And it was a disaster for them. Yes. And, and you know, our good friend Brian Singleton has purchased it more recently. It seems like the newer batches of it do better than the early batches the guy received which mine doesn't even really fly anymore you know i and for me with mine it actually didn't have a lot of the problems you know i know that marcus experienced i know that others experienced i didn't have a lot of those problems with mine but you know it was like you know you had to kind of like baby that thing along firmware update it and and cross your fingers and toes and when you got it outside God knows what you were going to get when you when you put it up as far as and, and they were going to fly the same from flight to flight. Yeah. You know, it, there was no, you know, I noticed when I when I took it up here, you know, I, I pointed it true, true. I calibrated the, the controller and it didn't matter. It was kind of had a mind of its own where I mean, it was going straight, but it was not going where I pointed it. And that's just, you know, that's frustrating. You know, you know, I. I I spent $399 on a drone, Ron. You know, one of the things that I want is I want it to go where I'm pointing it, all right? Mm -hmm. You know, that, that that should be kind of a no-brainer. Now, you know, the other thing, and, and the last last one we're going to talk about is actually it hasn't hit the ground yet, is the Evo Nano and the Evo Nano Plus. And, Ron, of, of any of all these other drones here, you know, and I know I didn't hit every mini drone, but I hit the hit the big ones. I think if anyone is going to give DJI any competition, it's going to be Autel within Nano. Right, right. The uh, you know they uh, they challenged DJI with their their uh, um, Autel Evo two series of drones, Evo and Evo two Pro, and uh, so they kind of have a track record. And uh, these these uh, Nano Pluses have higher specs than the DJI Mini two does. Uh, whether they all come to be, I mean the uh, the hops of mini pro has higher specs too, but these specs have to actually work when you, when you get them. But, um, uh, of course, all this comes at a higher price than the mini two. Um, the, um, even the base nano is, uh, you know, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars more than the, um, than the mini two. And the, now I believe the nano plus is almost, uh, what, eight nine hundred dollars or whatever so we are talking it's kind of a cross between the mini 2 and the air 2s you know as far as price yeah yeah that's a good ron that's a great analogy um you know th that seems to be exactly what where it's pointed is a cross between the air 2s and the mini 2 and you know again i think i'll tell you know if they can get you know for me i think this time i think if they can get their distribution of this drone right ron I think they'll have a real winner here. You know, I'm real excited to start to see. I mean, you know, 
you know, it's supposed to be imminent. We're supposed to start. It's supposed to start hitting the show. I mean, they're, they're, I, I, I guess the CEO or the uh, owner or whatever, Max Boli promised this December. Yeah. And we're December's right around December's next week. So, yeah. I mean, it's right around the corner. And, you know, that's one of the things, you know, we're all. Yeah, as I always say, when they say when any company promises something coming, coming out any month, they're not promising like December 1st. It's, you know, they're going to use the whole 31 days or whatever, <laughs> you know. Oh, month. yeah. I, I hate when a company says, oh, it's coming out in November, because I know you, you really mean, you really mean the last day of November. You do not mean the first day. You know, I, I pre-ordered a um, a portable HF ham radio. And just, you know, just kind of let you guys know, HF is the high frequency or that's the typical shortwave radio. When you can talk to somebody you know, long distances. That's what, that's what HF is. And it's a low power. It's, it's, it's five to 10. This one's a 10 water. Okay. Now I, I pre-ordered it and they said it will be here. The second batch will be in before the end of December, you know, 2021. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, and, and, and I keep knocking on their door, emailing them every day. And they said, no, it hasn't been updated yet, but um, a video f- finally leaked on somebody a, a big ham radio channel finally leaked it out and put it out there so i think that's that's imminent but i know what you're saying you know they'll say december and that means that gives them anything from december 1st to december 31st yeah. to get that out that's almost kind of all, all these companies tech companies hey one, one thing that uh, is concerning a lot of people out, out on the internet about the nano i'm, I'm going to say the nano plus but i think they both are the same they both uh, list a 28 minute flight time, and uh, we know how that all translates, especially like on the Nano Plus, who's going to be running obstacle avoidance and 4K 60 video. That uh, you know, we'll, we're probably lucky to squeak 20 21 minutes out of the thing in, yeah. in, two, in, in almost 2022. Is a drone that only gets 20 minutes battery life still is that still acceptable? And uh, your- you know, it's like and I think we kind of talked a little bit about this last week, like with, <laughs> you know, remember the spark. All right. And, yeah. You know, 15 you're minutes, 12, and- you're 12 minutes of flight time if you were lucky. But again, we're talking flight time of what that we're talking 2017. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Four years later. And, and yeah. you know, you would think, you know, with all the tech that, that they know of and with all the all the know how that they know of, you know, and trying to squeeze, and, and, and I know they wanted to keep it at 249 grams, and I understand all of that. But, you know, there are some things that you can still sacrifice to get that to that point where you can have maybe a 35-minute battery on there instead of instead of, instead of of what they have on there now, you know? Yeah. I, I guess after Hubson's, I, I'll say disaster. I hope I'm not that too, uh, too strong a word. Hubson's disaster with obstacle avoidance and a sub- 250 gram drone is 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 the sub 250 uh, gram obstacle avoidance just just too much to ask for as a, at an engineering standpoint this at this point that's time. you pose a real good question there ron and you know is it is it worth you know it's like for me i found flying you know the the mini drones from from dji you know i treated you know it like you know i don't really need obstacle avoidance if you know what i mean you know i'm not I'm not going in and, you know, like I'm FPV flying the thing and, and, you know, dodging trees and limbs and, and telephone poles and all that kind of good stuff. Okay. Because right. the altitudes that we fly at, most of us fly at, okay. You know, the big thing that we got to watch out for probably birds more than anything else. And, and some uh, kind of wires uh, up yeah. high that we don't see. Yeah. The, the, you don't see, but other than that, you know, we really don't, you know, it, it really isn't something that, that is meaningful. Now, the one thing that, that I I really liked the other day when I was setting up one of my shots with the Mavic 3, you know, that rear rear uh, obstacle avoidance was nice because I can't see him behind me when I'm backing up to set up that shot, okay? Mm-hmm. But, you know, that rear obstacle avoidance is there, and if something was there, it's going to it's gonna let me know about something like that. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's a good thing to have on a drone. Yeah. I, I don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't want obstacle avoidance on a sub 250 gram drone but i don't know if i wanted you know at at the you know at the loss of a lot of flight time or the loss of you know like like the hubson one which you know makes the whole thing wonky or whatever like i i I don't want i don't want to sacrifice 
anything to get obstacle wins in a mini drone. If that I, I agree. I agree. You know, it, it's, it's, you know, I'll, and, and I'll tell you what, for a mini drone run, I'll give up obstacle avoidance to get a better run time. Okay. I think that's a very fair trade off with something like that because you're not going to, and let me put it to you this way. Okay. The mini drones are for hot, purely for hobbyists. Okay. If you're professional and have one, kudos to you. Okay. But you're not going to be setting up a lot of shots with a mini two drone or a mini drone. Okay. You don't have zoom on it. You don't have other features that you're going to have on the air 2s and, and on the Mavic three, you don't need, you know, to, to get in and frame in and get the perfect shot. Hey, Bill, just could, just so somebody didn't blow you up in the chat, I, I think the Mini 2 does have a uh, zoom in video. Oh, okay. It does. I think you're right. Okay. Uh, I just don't want to get you in trouble, Bill. That No, thank you. Thank you for that. But, you know, you're not going to basically, you know, be needing that obstacle avoidance to set up, you know, doing photo shoots or, or videos, you know, like a real estate, you know, let's face it. Okay. For the mini two type of drones and the mini drones in general. Okay. You're not going to be doing a lot of professional work with them. Okay. It's going to be nice to maybe get some aerials of your house or your friend's house, or, you know, uh, you know, go, go out and, you know, you know, go fly out over the lake and get some boats out on the lake and things like that. But, you know, you're not going to be setting up a lot of shots with the mini drones. Okay. It's not, you know, and, and you take the trade off, you know, to lose something like the obstacle avoidance to pick up more runtime. Yeah, I, yeah, you know, I agree. And, so, um, you know, uh, I, you know, I, and I'm interested in the Altel mini mini drones, but uh, I'm not pre-ordering or buying day one. I'm, I'm Bill. I'm sitting back. I'm going to watch all the reviews and uh, see all the pluses and minuses before I dive in, Bill. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, you know, I'm going to wait to see several reviews on, on it because. You know, Ron, with the exception, and, and I hate to say it, you know, we're not really, you know, you know, we, we're called DJI fanboys, but we're not, okay? Because we cover a whole series of drones, okay? Now, you, you know started me, with an Altel drone. I started with an Altel drone. I've had two Femi drones. I've had a couple of Hubson drones. So, you know, I, I, I can say that, you know, that I'm not just a quote-unquote DJI fanboy, you know, and I want to see autel succeed in the worst way possible okay because that's going to push dji to do better and quite frankly i would like hubson and femi to get their act together and succeed so they can can, can push the other drone companies as well yeah. i mean yeah. what do you think you know femi has this uh you know x8 2022 i think is listed on either their site or Banggood or some places coming out on december 25th and i mean uh you know uh if the mini I mean, Phoebe needs a home run this time out, or at least a solid, solid double, or whatever. And helps it. I mean, maybe this, maybe this new mini SC they have. Maybe that's the, maybe that's the solid thing. But these companies need a win, Bill. They, they, they need a win. And uh, do you think the possibly the next Phoebe, the 2022, could could be the win they need? Yeah, and I, I really do. Um, and and I know, and I'm putting this this graphic up from Drone News Media. The Mini 2 250 is messed up in Europe from December 22. No more flying in cities as Europe now looks at 250 grams. There's a maximum takeoff mass the weight the drone can carry. You know, I know our friend Hendrik from Tech, you know, uh, from, from from Tech Drone Media, I think that's the name of his channel. Yeah. He had talked about that as well. So, you know, this is an issue now over in Europe. Uh, just, um, uh, I w Marcus, Ron and I will watch your video of the Nano Nano Plus. Okay, we, we will we will be waiting for it with bated breath. Okay, my friend. I think uh, we Marcus were... is coming. Marcus is coming any day now. So we'll we'll be we'll be hanging on for dear life until we see your review. No, no, we'll look forward to it, Marcus, and we know and see. That's the one thing. I'll say this: when you see reviews from Ron from Marcus. Um, you know, if you see something from Johnny, from Ray, from myself, others, you know, and, and I'll call it the sub 100 K subscriber, uh, you know, drone reviewers kind of a thing. All right. You know, and, and not to say anything about those, uh, and you know, I have nothing but great respect for all those over hundred K, but for us. Okay. Especially, you know, it, it's like, we call it like it is. All right. You know, there's no 
we don't sugarcoat things. We don't, you know, we don't, we don't throw companies under the bus. You know, if this is, if, and if there's an issue, we talk about the issue. If there's positives, we talk about the positives and we let you end up deciding what you think about that drone. So that's why I'm looking forward to Marcus's review in particular, because, you know, there's no sugarcoating it. Okay. He's going to call it like it is. And I think also too, it bears worth mentioning. All right. Ron purchases his Mavic 3, okay? I purchased my Mavic 3. Marcus purchased his Mavic 3, okay? Um, you know, and most of you out there purchase your own drones. You don't have somebody giving the drones to you. So, in other words, you know, when you get a product, and I've gotten other products before, and I've gotten other, you know, like Holystone drones before and things like that, you know, you're kind of obligated to leave them, you know, uh, leave them a good review. You know, there's no obligation for us. You know, we go out there, we shoot you straight. We tell you like it is. We tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I think that's important because you need to make an informed decision. And you know what? You don't just watch one video to make an informed decision. You know, you'll go out, you watch two, three, four videos, and then, you know, make up your mind on what you think, uh, uh, you know, of, of that drone. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, somebody mentioned, too, about the uh, Altel Evo 3 could be on the horizon for early next year. We do know that Altel is going to have a booth at CES. And according to, I think, uh, I think Barry told me that DJ will not be at CES this year. Oh, wow. I, I Or maybe Laura and I, you know, but somebody told me that they would not be at, at CES this year, but but Altel will be. Okay, that's in, that's very oh, interesting. Um, well, you know, you remember, I don't know, and I don't think the all the the Phoebe's and the Hups of the, of the world ever go to. Uh, no, they don't. They don't. They they don't. They don't go over there. You know, Autel only showed up at the last minute at the last in person one, which was 2019, that Marcus went to because they had a cash infusion from uh, parent company over in China to be able to set up a booth. So right. that's kind and kind of, of was important them to get the message out because they were launching the both the Evo twos and the AK and, and the six K. So it was important for, for for them to be there that year. Yeah, that kind of that's kind of surprising, but in a way not surprising because you know they want to they want to look to try to um, focus their efforts and in, in their money and, and everything. So um, you know that may be a good thing for them, but I'm you know I'm, I'm really crossing my fingers and I'm really hoping we get to see a home run from Autel with the Nano and the Nano Plus, Ron. I really do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's good. You know, it's, uh, we, we, a, a month ago, we called it the, the year of the mini drone. And uh, we were kind of wrong, Bill, because, you know, Phoebe dropped the ball. Hudson dropped the ball. DJI didn't even, they didn't even play this year in the mini drone thing. So, really, yeah. the, the mini drone said it kind of turned out to be a bust, uh, except for the, um, you know, the DJI Mini SE, which of course would only is only good for somebody that doesn't have the Mini Two. It's uh, just a you know a, a kind of a dumbed down version, I guess, for mm -hmm. uh, people who don't have uh, you know they don't need a lot from, from their drone. So the main drone was really a bust this year. But I mean, you know, the uh, I mean, if we should do this at the end of year show, we would grade the companies. I mean, DJI. I mean, the the FPV drone, the Air Two S. Now, now the Mavic Three, and of course they put other camera products out too. But I mean, if, I mean DJI, they 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 pretty much hit the grand slam this year, Bill, to put it in the baseball parlance, right? Oh I my mean, gosh, uh, yeah. I mean, the action too, the pocket too, the their their new big gimbal setup for that other camera. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, the obviously the Mavic Three. Um, I mean the the pocket the pocket twos had its. Um, Kind of ups and downs, hidden reviews, but uh, the other products have all have all been, um, I guess I'd say big hits. Um, you know, I, you, DJI doesn't release sales, uh, but we we know all of our friends in the community all have the Air 2S, so we know that was a hit. Um, the Mavic 3 is just coming out, but people are you you know they're ordered as fast as they can, and, and we know a lot of guys that never did FPV before that are now flying FPV with the the DJI drone, so we know they must have sold. A bunch of them too we just know just the people we talk to in the community bill oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah so ron any closing thoughts for tonight uh you know i just want to wish everybody out there uh, uh you know happy thanksgiving 
Uh, I know tomorrow is what the busiest travel day of the year. And I know it wasn't last year because of the COVID, but I think people are, you know, going to be getting together more this year with family and friends and, you know, be, be safe at these events now, you know, especially if older people, you know, like people in their eighties and nineties, they want to be careful at these meetings, but it's good to see people, you know, move around, getting back together for the holidays and, uh, you know, and, uh, uh so, um, Again, that, that, that's about it. I really. just wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. And, you know, I'll be doing almost nonstop Mavi 3 videos uh, 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 going forward uh, here. But I got a few other videos that got to slip in, a couple other kind of, uh, not, you know, Bill, I got a, um, speaking of the Mini 2, I got a Mini 2 hard case in for review uh, just oh, good. today. And I got a, um, I got a new drone in for review, Bill, now. Uh-oh. Now, this isn't a, this isn't a Mavi 3 killer or anything, but it's, um, is uh, I don't even know what's the name of it the the S eighty eight rotating light drone. Okay. Now it does have um, a, a dual cameras on it and optical flow and it has gestures. So and look what look what it co comes with the case. Comes in with a wow. They sent me the flyboard kit. Wow. Already there. So, uh, you know, we joke around. We don't typically fly these things, but this is the type of thing. It's good to review this time of year because it's the type of thing you, you put under the Christmas tree for right. a, a that's young a good, flyer. You know, that's a, a good indoor house flyer. You know, yeah, it's an good on. indoor house flyer, teenager, that kind of thing. First drone. I think that's a. That, that that's a real that's a real good thing. Well, we'll, we'll find out, or or maybe it's a you know a Brian Singleton throw it in the trash can drone. But that's what I'm doing a review <laughs> for. And, and, and even though this is sent to me or whatever, you know, uh, you know, if it's a trash can drone, I'm still going to throw it in the trash can. I don't. You know, oh if, yeah. If, if the people never want to send me another product again, that's you know that's on them or whatever. You know what I mean? I, uh, you know, this isn't a sponsor review. They did send it, but again, if it's a piece of trash, it's going in the garbage can. I, I hear you, Ron, 100% on that. Um, one of the things I want to do, I want to echo Ron's sentiments. I want to wish everybody a very happy Thanksgiving. And if you're traveling, please tra please have safe travels. Um, still be mindful out there, you know, of others and, and COVID and all that kind of good stuff because it's still, unfortunately, you know, it rears its ugly head. A programming note, uh, the week of December the 13th, and I believe it would be December the 14th would be a, a Tuesday, okay? That broadcast is going to be pre-recorded, okay? I'm going to be recording a broadcast ahead of time because that week, from December 13th through December 19th, okay, yours truly is going to have his granddaughter and my daughter and son-in-law down here for the week. So we're going to be having a lot of fun. And one of the things I'm going to be showing them is, is obviously the Mavic 3, so we'll, we'll take them out for, for a little spin with the Mavic 3 so they can see that and some of the other things. And we're looking forward to getting our house set up for Christmas early so they can they can see everything. And um, so my granddaughter can have lots of good things to enjoy. We're already starting our prep work for it. We can hardly wait. We are so excited. And they're driving down, which is good. They're not flying down because, you know, to try to get a two-year-old to put a mask on for a whole a two hour oh, flight. That's a long day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. that stuff. You know, that that's that's a hard that's a hard ta task. And yeah. I don't I don't wish it on them. Yeah. But um, you know now Bill, really, are you are you guaranteeing them away Christmas? Uh not in Florida. Now they'll, they'll probably go back. They'll probably when they head back, they'll probably have a white Christmas, but but down here, no. Um, uh, but there's gonna be plenty of food that's going to be geared towards our granddaughter. Um, so we're going to be doing that. You know, one of the things we're going to do, we're going to get her to the zoo here in Tampa. So, um, she really likes seeing the animals at the zoo. So, and last time I talked to my son-in-law and my daughter was, was her birthday. She butts right in the conversation and says, hello, how are you? <laughs> Just like, <laughs> so it's, we're going to have, we are going to have a great time. We are, we're really excited about that. So just a programming note. So on the 14th and also probably the last Tuesday of the month, we're going to have a replay. I'm going to put a, a great replay up for you guys. And what I may do, I may do like one of my greatest hits and, and, you know, um, do some editing and put one together because I have several of those going to try to line up some guests for 2022. I know we just had Rick on. I'm going to try to get Billy. I'm going to try to get um, Kelly Shores and get him on, um, you know, and get, some Frank Wang. get Frank Wang on, you know, who, you know, who would be great. Um, but I, I, you know, time-wise, I, I don't know how it would work to get Barry on for a show. Barry, 
we yeah. would love to do that sometime. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, great we'll, to get Barry we'll work something out to get you on here. So, great what, show. What, what, what date? What date is Christmas Bowl in this year, Bill? Uh, Saturday, I think. It's a Saturday this year. Okay. I think it's a Saturday. Yeah, because we have we have off Friday is our our holiday for Christmas. So okay. that's how that's how it's it's working for us. So. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. But yeah, wanna wanna wish everybody a very happy Thanksgiving Definitely. and safe travels. And as always, great day to fly, guys. Take care.